Uh, this this drama is not really on our radar. For me. And I think the trailer that I watched before watching it doesn't really captivate me that much. That point in time, it's not even I think 10 minutes into the first episode. I told myself, I am in for this drama. I was really hooked. I think you're on the same page. But at at that point, the I their chemistry, their I chemistry. Oh my God, it's so good, really. I agree with you. Because um, as I watch along. I, I I finally get it why this drama has gotten a high rating. Hi hey, everyone, Ash here and Match here, and welcome to our vlog. For this vlog, we will be talking about an ongoing Chinese drama entitled A Dream of Splendor. For everyone who has not yet subscribed to our channel, please click on the subscribe button below. A Dream of Splendor stars Crystal Yu and Chen Xiao and it aired this June 2022 with a total of 40 episodes. And for international audience, you can watch it on WeTV. Ishal, can you give us a summary of this drama? Xiaopang heir, a tea house owner in Gyantang, finally received news that her fiancé, Ouyang Yu, was ranked third in a national civil examination, but would be marrying the daughter of a high-ranking official. Unwilling to accept her ill fate, she set off to Biangjing, the capital, to seek clarity from Ouyang himself. When Ouyang Zhu learned that Xiaopang heir has come to the capital, he tried many ways to drive her out. Xiaopang heir, together with her friends, decided to stay in Bianjing, relying on their own ability to make a fortune. After experiencing difficulties and various tribulations, the three sisters finally managed the small tea house into the largest restaurant in Bianjing. Yay! <laughs> currently watch episode, Chai. Uh, are you, currently, I are think you there updated? are 20, 20 episodes, Ishal, right? Currently. Yeah. But I think I'm only in the middle of episode 18. <laughs> How about you, Ishal? I think I am updated. <laughs> okay. Yeah, until 20. 20. Mm -hmm. Okay. Expectation bit more watching, Chai. Uh, this this drama is not really on our radar for me and Ishel. Uh, the reason why I, I only wanted to watch it is because um, in the Daban, Daban rating score, it opened, it, I think for 2022, it is the highest rating drama. And uh, Daban, I think it's equivalent to critic something rating service. So I was curious. And to be honest, um, I don't really have... A lot of expectation because for one the, the lead guy Chen Xiao this is I think my first drama of him and for Crystal Yu <laughs> don't bash me but I didn't <laughs> like her performance in Mulan I find her not a strong really a strong female she does not have a strong female vibe of that of Mulan so I was really I don't I didn't really wanted to watch it because I think um, I was a little bit biased against her acting so I was not really expecting a lot how about you Shell? me I honestly uh, didn't like you said I was not informed that uh, Crystal Yu was coming back into small screen because the last time that I watched her for my end is in Dada, the series. You know, Dada, Love of the um, Condor Hero. Uh, you know what I think? <laughs> when I went to the drama list, it's more than a decade, probably more than a decade yeah, since the last yeah. yeah. The last time that I watched her in a small screen and the last time that I watched her was Mulan and honestly, I think we have different uh, views regarding mm -hmm. that. <laughs> because I really, I really like really? her that time in okay. Mulan. Mm -hmm. No, I really like, I really like how the action scene in Mulan. Mm -hmm. I was think that she, before he, she was casted. I really know that he will be the Mulan because, mm -hmm. uh, I think he's the perfect fit for physical appearance yes. for Mulan yes. in the fighting scenes because I really watch the the love of the Conde hero that time. So I expect, uh, not so much since. Since I didn't really have any idea about this drama, and I think the trailer that I watched before watching it doesn't really captivate me that much. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this is so so for me. So, 
how about your impression after watching 18 episodes? <laughs> uh, uh, just to follow up with what you said, Ishel, uh, I, I mm. didn't watch that trailer, but just in case if I watch it before watching, I, I will probably share the same sentiment as you, in that I think this drama is only about the, a normal historical Chinese drama, and full of politics so if i decided to watch it pro- probably i will not watch it based on the trailer alone but impression after watching i think one of the reason why i pushed through with this drama aside from it having a high rating is the plot when i read the plot it reminded me of skip beat you watch skip beat did you ah, watch this okay yeah like in Kyoko okay, okay. went to Tokyo to avenge or mm-hmm. to 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 um to follow her lover or her friend mm-hmm. just to be um casted aside for so, for some other girl so i really love skip beat it's my favorite one of my favorite anime and manga so i was intrigued and come episode 1 is you know what um i think the first scene is about the guy right so i was yeah. wondering okay and when when his face showed up okay <laughs> but then uh, i mean i don't know I, i'll okay. probably expound on it later but then um when when um partner and her friend scene was shown in the tea house for some reason uh, at that point in time it's not even i think 10 minutes into the first episode i told myself I am in for this drama. I was really hooked with their uh, fancy, fancy fighting style. Not even really super yeah. fancy. Just like, yeah, um, yeah. what do you call that? Uh, a normal fighting style. Given realistic. Their, yes, yeah. realistic for girls. And I love it that it's not super exaggerated. There is no martial arts involved. But then they are strong, independent women. 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 I really, really love that for that. And um, as I watch along, I I finally get it why this drama has gotten a high rating because it's really intriguing um the the storyline is really good and also um what to call this uh, currently there's really no such boring parts you cannot really help but to root for our three independent women I really love that how about you Shell? I I agree with you because I think the f- the first uh the scene that really hooked me into watching it is that the scene in the tea house where mm-hmm. there are do their fighting scene yes. and i think if uh, i don't i feel what the main lead was feeling that time that mm-hmm. to be amazed how this beautiful woman was able mm-hmm. to uh to do the fighting scene yes. in a normal or realistic way that they don't have to be exaggerated and i mm-hmm. think that's why what the other guy, guy name? Uh, Mr. Gu? Uh, 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 the girl, the girl, the girl? The, no, no, the, the bo- butcher? The Gu. Mr. Gu. Mr. Gu. 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 Mr. Mm-hmm. Gu Shangtan. Shangtan. Yes, the, was amazed by Shao Er, Pan mm-hmm. Er character. Pan-er. So that's why I really think we're on the same page of that guy, on mm-hmm. the same scene. And, yeah. uh, and watching alone, I think I watched it straight for, for 10 episodes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I was really amazed by they able to portray an independent woman, and like I said, I really like that the fo- fo- focus of the car of the story is about them, yes. that we independent woman, yeah. and mm-hmm. like I said, uh, I like that I really like that they didn't have this the sta the statue the status of yes. a hey noble woman, but a normal, yeah. uh, normal woman who is trying to uh to finally found themselves in the society yeah. that's really i like it because mm-hmm. uh, usually in an asian drama if there will be a princess there will be a oh, yeah. woman but this time their character is from a uh, what they call mm-hmm. an entertainer uh, nor, yeah even a low low performer. status yeah, yeah low status yeah. Mm-hmm. trying to find their uh place in the society that's think the major reason why i really was into this drama mm-hmm. It's like okay. Ishel, it's, um, it, it's hmm. like can I just add, it's like Bridgerton okay. <laughs> historical ah, Chinese yeah, yeah. setting, and yeah, it's also in, the, it's, in ancient time. In yes, ancient it's time. also a bit like um, Pride and Prejudice. You know what I really love? Aside from Skip Beat, it reminded me of Pride and Prejudice. Probably because at that first scene, um, the Mister Goose companion just asked him 
do you find her pretty? But then he said, no, yeah. not. And <laughs> she's not, she's average or something. And then the girl, uh, Pan Er, heard it. And I was, oh my God, this is more. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's maybe the reason uh, the guy is, was so, Mr. Gu was very, uh, what they call that, not very expressive. Mm-hmm. And the way that his pick is so poisonous in terms of, because that's the nature of his job. Yes. So yes. maybe that's your favorite scene aside from up the first, to until episode. 18. Okay, until 18. Your favorite scene until um, 18. I probably I'll just mention one as well. But I super, okay. super, super love that scene. That rain scene during when they were in front of the judge. And then mm. um, they were about to be yeah. uh, hurt. And then Mr. Gu comes in and, and the slow-mo, the, the looks. At, at that point, the eye, they're chemistry their I eye it. chemistry oh my god it's so good really it's so good like um i from what i understood Ch- chen Shao is already married to, yeah. to another chinese actress but then um their their on-screen chemistry is really, is really something and i was really surprised because as i've told you Shed, um i do not really find uh mr gu handsome but um mm-hmm. as as the series go along and given his attitude his um I don't know his character. He grows on me, and now I find him really uh, like handsome in my in my eyes. How about you, Shell? Favorite scene? I think you're on the same page, but I really like that scene so much that I think that is maybe their uh, what they call that their wake up scene for them to realize what they have mm-hmm. inside. Mm-hmm. It's the triggering part because I really like the music that time yes. and how pa- Pan Air was was a uh, what they call it, uh, running towards him, mm-hmm. knowing that he is the one behind all those uh, savings that yeah. they uh, he did to them, and he mm-hmm. like that in their their eyes speaks more. I think yes. it's like a care. It's it's so magical for me. I really like that scene so much. Also, that's my favorite scene. And I think yeah, that's the, the same. scene that I <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's I seen that oh. The chemistry is shaping right now because previously yeah. I think they have just a friendship and you can yeah. feel it also mm-hmm. for us as a viewer. For me as a viewer, I felt that there uh, for the few past few episodes, they are just really slowly, slowly mm-hmm. setting up their friendship and yeah. not into dive into a a to a bro- romance again, uh, uh, romance instantly. So I really mm-hmm. like that they do it. Uh, slowly yes. and yeah i'm into i'm into it that's why i really like it so aside from that there is scenes that mark you uh mark your uh mark that mark. That mark in you <laughs> um not really a scene but as you said i really love the progression of this drama and also the dynamics and how realistic it is like if this is any other drama uh, Mr. Goose character will be untouchable, but then in the first few episodes, he was shown as someone vulnerable. Like he can be hurt, he can be mm. pr- pr- uh, prosecuted, even if he is a high-ranking official. But then when he was in the province, yeah, you cannot help but fear for his life. And I'm glad that um, uh, weaknesses were shown early in the drama, so that um, I- I'm not. I- some of the some because of some of the historical dramas almost all of the the leads were shown as almighty like you cannot touch them or you can touch them but then at the end they will prevail but at the beginning it i was a bit afraid really for their character and also what other scene um ah, I, I, I remember i really like uh the pipa player and the mr sheng i really love mr sheng yeah, okay, yes. okay, okay. they 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 i mean i, I love mr sheng because at, at, at first i thought he was a villain but then when when mm. mr gu said that his family is good I, I was stuck i mean i'm currently at that episode wherein um the pipa player uh was telling him that she's she has been married she is now divorced but then mr sheng just said that i know all of that but then he's still there i don't know i'm really wishing for something to happen between them but what you said other favorite scene i think the thing uh, one of the scenes i really like is that uh uh it's the emotional scene for me is that when shopping a pan air was uh and the people player know that already that uh oh young was not able to continue marry uh mm-hmm. Xiao Pan Air mm-hmm. and the people player said 
to to sun ah uh, suning so chan sunyang. the the kung sun sanyang sanyang mm-hmm. that uh they didn't do anything they didn't do they what they call that they didn't do bad things they just yeah. they just wait, they cannot what do you think the part that it is what they this is what they've been to but mm-hmm. i didn't what they call that uh, uh i think that they didn't do anything bad but mm-hmm. why why it is happening to yes, them yes. they just love that person they just trust that mm-hmm. and at the end because of their status like that they was uh they was hurt that's that's really something that uh that i think the asian woman who had experience yes. Yes, <laughs> in yes. the previous era mm-hmm. because that's what it's it hard to be a, a woman that time yeah yeah i agree, agree so i think that's more and i think i uh, really looking forward for other characters and how they develop aside from from having their love life here mm-hmm. i really was aiming to uh to find the growth and the mm-hmm. the, the, the confidence of yeah. our of, of our ladies of <laughs> our leads because mm-hmm. they are really beautiful very mm-hmm. smart and yes I think they really deserve a, a place in the society, not mm-hmm. just like uh, the entertainer or a FIFA yeah. player, but a place that uh, can can aim can gain respect from mm-hmm. the other uh, other uh, high ranking yeah. official. That may be the reason why I really into this drama because mm-hmm. you know sometimes girl power. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or into the girl power. They really like Mr. Gu because yeah. he doesn't have this uh what they call that as a prejudice about what they do. He yes. really And then really he le- he lets Pan Er shine on her own without oh, really yeah, helping. Yeah, yeah. Only helping when it is super necessary. Mm. And I think when you are going nineteen twenty, the stories will go more on their love Romance, line. So yeah. I think you have to watch it now. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll probably I watch it previews. later. Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah, I also yeah. saw the previews issue. <laughs> oh my God. My God. <laughs> so I think I, you already know what you're going to but, watch. In but but my 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 only worry issue, honestly, is um, I think in the next uh, two to five or two to six episodes, the love line will be established. I'm not sure what will happen in the remaining episodes hopefully it will not drag they can introduce yeah, another yeah. exciting twist and i think they can please establish also the the villain because i really think i need to find what are what are the struggles that they're yes. going to mm-hmm. do today face because it's really half worth the episode right mm-hmm. for yeah the, it's too long yeah I think, so we're for, already for just 20 <laughs> they establish their relationship in 20 so let's wait for what will be the upcoming scenes and mm. we really hope that I really like all the characters, even the customer yeah. one. Yes, yes. <laughs> the, 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 two, yes. the two old men. The two old men, yeah. That's true. Yeah, that's true. yeah, the two old men. They're so funny and very supportive. Uh, yeah, and I also, really also like Mr. Goose mm. sidekick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His I face think looks he was like going a villain. To a love line. Oh, sorry. Really? I mean, his face looks like a villain, but then he's so cute. Yeah. I'm so glad that he's... But he's, I think he's going to have a love line here. Really? I don't know oh. if yeah, I think so. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Because I already in 20 episodes, so watch it for okay. you too. Because I think I already have, I really have in mind who is Isanyang's partner, mm-hmm. the people uh, player partner, and mm-hmm. uh, the sidekick of mm-hmm. Mr. Oh. But, so, uh, but but before I think before we end this, I'm really pleasantly surprised with Crystal's acting. Mm, okay, <laughs> I think, okay, I okay. Let's I, see. What's your you know what, I, about I, that? I think uh, she did well here. So I was thinking, what happened with Mulan and this one? I'm not sure if it's the script or a lot of things were taken out of the Mulan movie. So I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. But another thing I think that can probably affect that is um, Crystal needed to speak in English. Sometimes uh, it's not her first language, but from what I read, she's Canadian, Chinese, or American Chinese. American, then, American yeah, Chinese. But, yes, but I think it, it probably because you would need to think of your English and then acting. But in her in her native element in Chinese, she's really good. So I, I was really surprised. I was rooting for her. And I really, she's so pretty, Michelle. Like, she's so pretty. Yeah. He's still the, she's still the same, yeah? Yes, she she does not age. So just like yeah. Zhang Dara. <laughs> and I think they didn't 
dub this, right? Yes, do probably. Do they dub this? I, I think. Yeah, so. because probably I think uh, I didn't. If mm-hmm. it, because the way they speak is like it's so natural it, and the sound effect. So I think they didn't dub. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Make make us clear about this one mm-hmm. <laughs> if you know it. Yeah. So and they will and it means that they're really good in Chinese. Yeah. If they didn't, they have they it. didn't dub it. Usually they Chinese dub. Because of their different accent, right? Or yeah, yes. That's the yeah, so this one, they're really good. The characters are all good on this one. And what else? Anything else that you can say? No, none for now. But I really love Jelly. Jelly Lin, the, the FIFA player. I mean, she's. I'm not sure if you noticed, but she's the uh, one that played the main lead in. It started with a kiss. Movie version with that Taluwang Darling. Ah, yeah, she's so yeah? pretty. Uh, yeah. yeah, she's I so didn't pretty. Notice. She's it. Oh my it, God. Her face is a bit different. But when I first saw her in her first scene, I was like, she looks like a villain, but then I cannot really hate her. And she's so pretty. And when I search, oh my God, she's Jelly Lynn. <laughs> it's ah, just an FYI. Oh my God, I didn't mm-hmm. notice it. Mm-hmm. So that's why she, he's, she's, uh, his, uh, her face is sounds, I mean, looks familiar. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, oh. That's nice. Nice mm-hmm. to hear that I really know that mm-hmm. uh, watch his pre- her previous drama. Mm-hmm. So, uh, anything else? None. None. <laughs> okay, uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. So, uh, please follow our social media account. We have Instagram, uh, Twitter, and TikTok. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Bye. Bye.